Hi, this is Alicia and I will be your naturalist today. So I thought we should take a closer look at what we've got in the pond since the days are nice and warm and sunny. If you would like to come with me on a hike to explore what's in my backyard or more specifically what's in the pond in my backyard, please join me as we go discover all of the different, I'm suspecting amphibians and maybe some reptiles that are living there today. There's a frog right there. Oh. That frog is gonna jump if I go any closer. I know it. They can jump like three feet. How close can you get? Apparently you can get quite close. Leopard frogs like this one here are named for the dark irregular spots all over them that are reminiscent of a leopard. And they can also be in varying shades of brown or green, but you can always distinguish them from other frogs by that light spot right in the center of their typhanum here, which is their essentially their eardrum located right behind their eye. And I've been hearing a lot of the calls so hopefully we'll be having some tadpoles here soon the little tiny green dots that are floating on the surface of the water here are is not algae it's actually duckweed which is the smallest flowering plant that we know of it has microscopic flowers and it is an important food source for fish and waterfowl floating on the Squatting like a toad. It's not a toad, it's a frog. Technically all toads are frogs, but not all frogs are toads. That's a very warm frog. Warmer weather means that we have different plants coming up such as all these reeds that are growing like crazy along the edges of the pond now. Turtles! Very, very shy turtles. If I try and get any closer than this, they're gonna nope right back down into the water. So I'm gonna look at them from here. Oh, there's a big old bullfrog hiding in the algae down there. Oh, look at him. He is so big. Oh, I found some snake skin that's been shed. This is probably from last fall here. It's was hiding in the grass. And here's something else hiding in the grass. There's a damselfly here. And you can tell a damselfly from a dragonfly based on the slender build and the way that it holds its wings back um, together instead of spread out. Despite their dainty appearance, damselflies are predators just like dragonflies and they're wonderful to have around the pond because they keep the mosquito population in check. Frogs aren't the only thing that like to sit on the algae in the pond. It's a safe place to rest. And it looks like a, oh no, no, that's a water snake. Oh my gosh, this is the first one I've seen this year. I am so excited they're out. Oh yeah, the water snakes are out in force today. Oh my gosh. So this one looks like it's just checking along the banks here for frogs to eat, because the frogs have been calling even though it's daytime, and inadvertently giving their position away. So <laughs> it's looking for lunch. 
And as you can see, it has an option to use either the algae to go across the pond or the water. And of course it picks the algae because then it doesn't have to swim so much as just crawl across all of these mats to get to the other side. But they can still swim, they can swim just fine. Water snakes are not cottonmouths, they're not the same thing. Uh, these are non-venomous, so it'll hurt if it bites you, but you won't go to the hospital. Water snakes, like this northern one here, I've also heard them called banded or brown water snakes, they can vary a little bit in color. They can be everything from a light to a pale brown to dark, almost black. Um, they look darker when, they're, when they get wet too, but you can see there's striping or banding along them also, and they are, oh wow, he's getting really, or she, they're getting really close here. Actually, the females are ovoviviparous, which means they carry the, uh, the eggs develop inside of them, and then they give live birth to identical small young that are ready to go and oh wow this one's getting really close <laughs> um most water snakes like this one obviously has no idea i'm here because most of them flee the second that they see you it oh it really wants to get up on the bank here i better move out of the way We have some turkey vultures that are riding the thermals here around the edges of the pond. They, you can tell they're turkey vultures because of the way they're holding that V shape to their wings. It's very distinctive, it, unlike um, other hawks and things. But I've seen quite a few recently and it is, I think it's close to about the breeding, breeding time for them, um, April maybe a little bit early for these guys here. And the warmer weather has officially led to our cottonwood trees growing lots and lots of leaves here. They're budding out, you can see, all along the stem. This is, this is a little cottonwood. And the muddy banks are great for the seedlings to grow and develop in. Although warmer weather is a great signal for a lot of trees to start growing leaves and budding out, it's not the only indicator that trees have to start growing in the spring. Sometimes light levels can be just as important because if you go by light levels, the tree has a defense against those sudden drops in temperature and prevents it from leafing out too early. Oh, I found one more thing hiding in the grass today. This is, if you couldn't tell by the scales giving it away, this is the tail of a northern water snake. I don't know why I always find them stubby. This northern water snake here is definitely alive. You can see the it, contraction and expansion of the ribs right there when it breathes. It's very slight right there. Yeah, like that. So it probably got too cold and it's just warming itself up right now. And it also thinks it's hiding because its head is hidden in the grass. So it's also hoping I'm going to go away. But what's really cool, because I'm this close, you can see the scales and the texture on them. They are very strongly keeled. They've got that ridge in the center of the scale, which makes them very rough textured. So it's not as smooth as some other snakes are. So I'm gonna leave it be, but I'm just really excited that they're out finally. Well, thank you guys for coming on a hike with me today. I had a lot of fun and I hope you did too. So if you would like to get more great content from the Great Plains Nature Center, just stay tuned to our Facebook page, check out our YouTube channel, and as always, get outside and discover what's in your backyard.
Although the rain fills up the pond. 